It is finally winter, you guys. I am so excited about this season. I'm normally not as excited about winter as I am this season, but I just, I'm just excited. Like, we're in our new home. I'm hosting Christmas for my family. I'm just a lot more excited about this season. So let's just get into some awesome winter polishes. So if you've never watched one of my videos before, how I do my seasonal polishes is I have a little swatch wheel that has 20 nails on it, and I put everything on here that's like my inspiration for this season. I put everything on here that I've really been wanting to wear for the last year, and I've just been kind of saving it for winter. So on here I have 20 polishes that I'm going to share with you guys today. So the first color category is some specialty black polishes. I have a few that I like that I'm really interested to wear this year, um, and honestly I don't think I've really worn them, so I'm hoping to actually get an, a wear out of them this season. The next color category are going to be some like whites with a little something extra in them. I also have a couple metallics this year, one is like more silvery and one is a pinky color. And then obviously I needed a red on my swatch wheel because you can't go through the season without having a red nail polish. The next category is going to be a few purples. And then I'll also have a couple blues. And I feel like, as always, my biggest category is greens. I have a lot of greens to share with you for this season. Then I have one neutral and one gray for the end. So the first color that I have here is China Glaze Night and Slay. And this is actually the one that I'm wearing on my nails right now. It is very shiny. Like, you can see all of those little glitters and all of those holographics. Um, I'm kind of leaning towards wanting to wear this as a topper or possibly sponging it on my nails. There should be a picture up right now of what this is looking like, but I definitely think that my application of it's on a, my application of it on its own is maybe not my favorite. I think I'm going to try it a couple other ways and see how I like it, but I was really inspired by this like black sparkly glittery everything in one bottle type of thing and I'm very excited about this one. Next up is OPI Colmates and this one I actually bought last year and I just never ended up wearing it. I think that it's got such a cool like shifty navy black silver shimmer in it that I'm really excited to wear and I think will be very very pretty for this season especially for like maybe like actually on Christmas or like a holiday party or something. I have a couple of family parties I'm going to. I think that this would just be like something a little different but all of those little metallic -y shimmers in it are just gorgeous. The next one that I have here is just a classic really nice white. This is Zoya Adele. This one I just have fallen in love with. You guys know that I really enjoy white polish and I just felt like this really would fit the season of like snowy outside and like green and just all of the things that I think of. Sometimes I just want a really nice white to complement whatever else I'm doing and I knew that this one would be gorgeous and I'm very excited to have this in my collection. Another one that is kind of different for this season I feel like is Dragon Fruit Freeze from 90 Lacquer. I have had this one for quite a bit and I have never really worn it for the holiday season, but for some reason, those little black shredded like glitters in there just really made me feel like Christmassy. It was like snow, but with a little bit of stuff in it. I don't know. I just really thought this would be cool this year for this season. This next one is actually a KL polish. This is Winter is Coming. Um, I know that not probably a lot of you can get this anymore or you didn't get it before when it came out, but this is a white like metallic with some silver shimmer in it. It's kind of got like a pearlized finish. I didn't wear this a ton when I first purchased it, but I'm really trying to branch out on some of my colors and some of my finishes for my polishes, so I wanted to add this one in this year. And I mean, it's called Winter is Coming. It's a white like shiny, just beautiful, really pretty polish, so I'm hoping that I will get some wear out of this. I do have a metallic silver here. I have really, really, really been into the metallics this year. Um, Olive and June came out with their winter collection and it had like five or six metallics in it and I love every single one of them. So this is OJPAS from Olive and June. It's just a classic silver metallic. I mean, it's just really, really pretty and I think this would be super cool for some nail art. So I'm hoping to incorporate that somehow into some of my winter looks. Next up is Essie Gorgeous Geodes and this is a pink holographic with just stunning like shifts in there with all of those holographic glitters. 
I really wanted to include this one this year because I have had pinks in the past, but they haven't been with like some little extra goldy shimmer metallic holographics. And I really felt like that is a good thing for the season. So I definitely wanted to include this one. And like I said, you can't go through this season without having a red. So this is Olive and June CV. I really like this red. It's just a classic basic red. It has an amazing brush, which really helps because I don't appreciate applying reds all that much and I feel like this one specifically with that brush is really helpful to get a clean manicure and it doesn't have a lot of cleanup and it, it's not as messy as some regular reds. Next up is Cashmere from London Town Lacquer and this one is just that perfect cozy sit by the fire purpley color. It just makes you feel warm inside and I obviously wanted a color like that for this winter. With it getting colder, I definitely wanted a cozy something on my nails. My next purple is also from London Town. This is London Town Opal and obviously I'll have pictures up here but you can probably see a little bit in the light. This is a very very pale purple, maybe a light 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 pink. Maybe it's just a lavender, but it has this shift in it with some like purpley silver pink micro glitter and it is beautiful. I honestly haven't worn this yet, so I felt like this is a really good one to kind of push this winter just to get it out of my collection. That's why I do the seasonal polish rack is so I can try polishes that I maybe haven't looked at or haven't gotten to or something like that and then I can just focus on a few polishes versus my entire collection. And then going into blues, this is Smaracand from 786 Cosmetics. I'm sure that I am butchering the name of that, but this is a really gorgeous blue. It's just a really basic, pretty navy color polish. They have, again, a great brush, a great formula, and I really have been wanting blues this year. Which leads me into this other navy color that is also on my swatch wheel. This is Meraki because I can. This polish I've already worn and it is really, really pretty. The color of it is just a little bit off from a traditional navy and it makes it really pretty and perfect for this time of year. Another one that I really enjoy this time of year that is in my blue category is Dream from Zoya. Again, I have pictures up so you should be able to see how beautiful this is, but I just really enjoy these like holographic glittery things in the winter. I feel like there's like different lights going on and you can see all different colors and textures of these super cool holographic polishes. Moving into my greens, this is Zoya Sage. I actually had this in my rack for um, fall and never ended up wearing it. It just wasn't... It wasn't, I was just not feeling it. So I decided to move it over to winter and have a really light, pale, basic, dusty green. And I'm very excited about it. This is actually a satin polish from Zoya, so you can see the bottle is a little frosty. I am thinking of showing you guys over here in glossy and satin. I would probably put a top coat over this because I'm not a huge fan of matte polishes, but the color in general is gorgeous. Next up is another Zoya green. This is Newt. And it is a much, much deeper green, you can definitely see, but it's not quite like an army green to me. I'm not sure. It just looks like a really deep, nice green, and I'm very excited um, to be incorporating more Zoya into my seasonal polishes because I have so many of them, but most of them are fall winter shades so during the summer and the spring i don't wear a lot of zoyas but this one is beautiful this next one is another olive in june this is ll i am including this as a green it probably looks fairly blueish um on camera but i'll include a video of how it kind of shifts and looks really really freaking adorable and i just i'm really excited again to wear this with all of the christmas lights and all of the different holiday things going on, like the ships that you'll be able to see with this polish are going to be amazing. The next one in my greens is this RX polish. This is called Arrowhead. This is actually a new brand to me, but I have just worn one of their other polishes they sent me and fell in love with it. So I knew I wanted to include it. This is a green holographic polish. Um, I already have one that I'm going to show you here in a second that is my quintessential Christmas green holographic, but this one is a kind of a different tone and I really enjoyed it. So I really wanted to include it in my winter polishes. 
Okay, so I know you guys probably aren't surprised. I'm fairly certain this was in my last year winter. I try to make sure I don't repeat colors, but some of them I just can't help. This is Zoya Merida. This is their deep green holographic. You can see all of that beauty. So I wear this I wore this last year for Christmas and I think that it's just going to become my Christmas polish, but it's freaking beautiful. If you don't have any of their holographics, I highly recommend this polish. It is absolutely stunning with those Christmas tree lights coming onto it. It is just beautiful. I do have one kind of like brown nude color. I include these in my neutrals, but it is on my like brown neutral swatch sticks, but this is Essie's Urban Jungle. Again, it's just a basic like nude color. Sometimes with all of those deep tones for winter, you just need like a little wash of like a palette cleanser. So this is that one. And last but not least, kind of on the same lines, this is the gray polish on my swatch wheel. This is Zoya Dove. And again, I just sometimes want a lighter polish to kind of just break up all of the deep tones of winter. And this one does that really well. All right, you guys, so that is everything for this video. I'm very excited, like I said, for this season. Let me know what polishes you're wearing or what polishes you have found in this video that maybe you're interested in, in picking up. And let me know if you have any of these. Do you have any, like, quintessential holiday winter colors? Are there anything that you wear for Christmas or maybe for Hanukkah or something? Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next one.